that's it. Oh. And they're all like, can really? we have a picture with the goat man? Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, and no you can, goat man. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, sure. But at the same time, there's a little bit of a lingering smell. So uh, I just want to ship well, him out. As you're quick. a goat. <laughs> yeah. Just, just hey, say, hey, hey, goat, hey, goat man and shit boy. That's right. That's right. On tour, goat man and shit boy. They still bug you about the goat man. Everyone loves goat they love man. The Everyone goat. loves the goat. They love it. The they goat. travel for out. Thank God I wasn't a donkey boy or something. I mean, you could have just built a whole life as goat man. I could have done movie yeah. series. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> why was it, why was it ever goat man movie? Seriously. Well, I think for many reasons. I don't know if you can handle that for two hours. I could handle it. I love it. I love when you're the goat man. The uh, and and really the goat thing was just Tourette's. <laughs> That's all it is. A guy with Tourette's. You're right. It's like, hey man, <laughs> let me get a <laughs> let me get a <laughs> let me get a. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> you know. Hey, did, you uh, start, did you start doing that in your stand-up back before Saturday Night Live? Well, not that I... T I no, <laughs> I didn't, didn't do it in stand-up. I used to talk about getting stoned, going to the zoo, staring at goats. Because <laughs> I used to love doing... One of the things I used to love doing <laughs> was getting stoned and yeah. walking around a zoo. And I literally, I would go to the gorillas because I love, and I would cry. Right. Eventually, I would cry, and people Sad. think I was creepy. That's yeah. when you got to get Sad. weed out of your life, <laughs> right? And I'm like, fucking gorilla, he doesn't have his family, man. <laughs> he's just sitting there, he's got nothing to do. It's like, like a fucking person. slavery. Yeah, yeah. So slavery. then I would stare at the giraffes, and be like, it's a fucking dinosaur. Does anyone get it? Yeah. So, <laughs> right, it's a living dinosaur with that long neck. Yes. Right. So. You know, I thought I was the only one on this plane of evolution here, and then I would go the goats, and I would laugh. I'd get really high and just stare at the goats, and the more they, <laughs> the hard I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> people must have thought I was a freak show because I was just sitting there baking. <laughs> <like, laughs> Who makes fucking noise like that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I went to... When I, <laughs> That's perfect. When I went to exactly SNL... Like right. <laughs> so when I went to SNL... <laughs> right. I, Did you I, do that for the audition? No, no, no. no. He didn't even I, know it was a bit. He, was, he thought he was onto evolution. Right. <laughs> I, did you ever, would you ever get thrown out of the zoo? Uh, one, I think it was the Tennessee, Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, asked me, um, like, you're, <laughs> you're making people uneasy. Wait, I stood there for like the, an hour and a half. You, you would, would do that stare, on the road? You would, no, no, oh, yeah, you would yeah, stare, yeah, get you high. Would, yeah, but yeah. you would stare at the animal. For and, an hour and a half. And do impressions of him because you, yes. you were commute, were you trying to talk to him? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> I would stand there, and the one you time. you became proficient at it, that yes. maybe you were even communicating maybe with him. Yes. you were talking goats. Yes. So, I would stand there, and there was always an older one so he couldn't even stand it so when i would sit there and I'd go, if i can get the old one and go ah, talking to yeah, them, man right. talking to the animal. So, so how do you incorporate that into a television so sketch? here's what i here's what i did with snl i i went in there and i pitched uh, and um this is what i said i said i want to do a character that for some bizarre reason he has tourette's but it's sort of like Teen Wolf. Whenever he talks, he... Uh, he's, so that comes out. And they're fucking... They're just staring at me. Yeah, because it sounds crazy. They're all like, well, yeah, yeah, who gets this? Instead of a werewolf, he turns into a ghost? Yes. Right. So, but my hook was... Yes. Whenever he get nervous... Right. And whenever he drink, more the goat would come out. Right. So to me, he'd go... The, the original sketch was... Like Jekyll and Hyde. Yes, the yeah. original sketch was he goes to a party, a regular guy, and throughout the night, once in a while, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm from Long Island. And <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And then as he drank, he's like, hey, let's sing, you know, and they start spreading the... <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> and people are like, what the... F I had no ending. Did you know if there was, a, no, was there no ending? I just went, I know this is funny. of anyone that you knew that did a goat sound when they had... No, cards? no, 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 no. Not at all. It does so sound like it, You pitched this thing, <laughs> yeah. which is brilliant, but yet who would even... How do you get it on television? Because did they finally see that A this couple was, weeks later, this guy... <laughs> it was genius. Who gives I, a fuck about an ending? Right, right. right. A couple weeks later, Later, right. Uh, 
<laughs> one of the writers, Tom Giannis, was right. one of the writers, and he comes up to me and he goes, "You know, uh, don't ask me why, but I was thinking about that 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 goat thing you were talking about." He goes, "And I really like the angle that he sings." Right. Go, All right. And he goes, uh, what about he just sings 80 songs? I was like, you're just as fucking bonkers as I am. Right, this is good. Why would you? I, I didn't like it. But, I thought but it was stupid. But maybe we'd get it on the air. I thought it was stupid. I did. Like, he sings 80 songs. That's retarded. No, but at least someone was buying into your concept. Yes. Yes. So we, the first Go Boy was... He sings just 80 songs. And it was like an infomercial. Like, right. you know, he used to be this, and now Goat Boy sings 80 songs. And yeah, like, I remember seeing that. Right. Yeah, you're yeah. like, you can, uh, so if you want to, you can. Uh, 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 and, uh, but in a way, didn't they ruin Goat Boy in the sense that you wanted this just to be some guy, not name him Goat Boy. No, I didn't want to name him Goat right. Boy nothing. Right. right. Don't even reference guy. what yeah. it is. No. I didn't want any of that to happen. Your idea was pure. Yeah. But I, and then as a fi and I saw it as a franchise. I'm like, then we'll do the movie where it's like Teen Wolf, where you don't know what's wrong with the guy. Right. And then we find out he was a government experiment. And then at the end of the day, there's something going on in the mountains, and the only one can get to the people in the mountains is the gold man. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, a Wait a second. This was genius. And this gives me insight into how Saturday Night Live works. And this must be the frustration of it. Here you have this great bit. You, you see it in your head. In order to get it on the air, you have to even water down the idea, name him Goat Boy, then have him sing 80 songs. Right. And, the, and that is kind of sucky, right? You almost That's why you need your own show, because you can do what you want to do. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to, uh, in any industry, when you visualize, you're the only one with that thought process. And when you pitch this in a meeting, it's hard to convey why it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you don't get it. It's right. just funny. Funny. Oh, right, and then with Lorne sketches, with sketches thought, they concentrate on the ending so much, yeah, eventually endings. it's an hour long. Did Lorne like, Michaels you know? eventually, like, like, did well, he think you were nuts and like, we wasted our money on this guy and then when no, Goat Boy... No, he loved the Goat Boy. He did. The, the, after the first one, then we, Tom Hanks was coming to host. Okay. And uh, this was like the beginning of the second season. And that was when that guy came back. He's like, let's give Goat Boy his own talk show ah. and he hosts the 80s and I'm like 80 what the, the why can't we 80s? let go of the 80s yeah <laughs> what is he good and he had a bizarre thought process. he's like i just think it's funny that he just hosts 80s this is hilarious and he's on vh1 and it's not funny well but people but freaking fun. and what that did was allow guests to come in and be like oh i want to dress up as so-and-so from the 80s right and so, as much as I was like, eh, it works though. But you know what? The and sound he was is, like, uh, it I, did work. I, I like the sound work. is so funny though. Yeah. You right. could do it. It would work I, at anything. I, I yeah, I like Goat Boy just being a guy with Tourette's and having to get through life and so ask girls funny. out. And all right. That this other original stuff. idea is edgy, it's edgier first like, 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 of all, like and if, it's funnier. If you had a real Tourette's, I didn't want the goat on his face and all that. Yeah, the, right. I didn't want if you if if you were going to ask Robin out and you were had this hilarious, you'd be funny. You'd be like Robin. I I think you're very. <laughs> I'm very uh, <laughs> attractive, and uh, I think I we can. It's hilarious. I love that. Listen, first of all, you got to go see Jim Brewer this Thursday through Saturday at the Grand.